with three pieces of single lot buckshot and a regulation musket ball, buck and ball turned the obsolete smoothbore musket into a devastating weapon at short ranges. A single regiment firing buck and ball could deliver thousands and thousands of projectiles downrange in the span of a minute. It was this overwhelming firepower that associates buck and ball with some of the bloodiest places on American Civil War battlefields. The wheat field, the sunken lane, the hornet's nest, just to name a few. Although the smoothbore musket was hopelessly obsolete by the mid-1860s, several Civil War regiments stubbornly clung to their 69 caliber smoothbores, like the 90th Pennsylvania, the 12th New Jersey, and the 69th New York, among others. Many of these regiments feature buck and ball on their monuments at Gettysburg and other Civil War battlefields. muzzle like right at the top of the sign. Many thanks to Joseph for filling the role of our Union soldier in this video. Yeah.